Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, two new stands for your iPad from IK Multimedia, and a new practice app that'll be great for your musician's toolbox. Let's get started. IK Multimedia recently introduced two new stands for the iPad. The first one we'll look at today is the iClip stand. That's this stand right here. Now, the nice thing about this is that it elevates your iPad so you can slip a keyboard or another controller underneath. Your iPad slips right inside. It'll hold a standard size iPad, or it comes with clips that'll allow it to work with an iPad Air. You can adjust the angle of the iPad. So you can set it to whatever angle you want it to be at. You can also adjust the height as well. So if you need to get it over a taller item, and we can tighten this down at whatever angle that you want it to be at. The iClip stand can also be used to clamp your iPad to a desk. It comes with this adapter that screws right down and tightens up onto the desk surface. You just pull the upright off of the base, mount it onto here, and then you can clip it right to your desk. Our second new stand from IK Multimedia is designed to clamp onto a microphone stand, and that's the iClip Expand. Now what's different about this one is that the iPad actually slips inside these jaws. They're padded, so they hold the iPad firmly in place, and it'll work with a variety of sizes of iPads or other tablets. Our app today is Practice Plus. Now, Practice Plus makes a great addition for your musician's toolbox because it covers a lot of different ground, whether you're rehearsing, working on songs at home, practicing scales, or even taking it out to a gig. Let's take a look at all that it can do. Let's start by opening Practice Plus up. When it opens up, we have five icons across the top, and those cover the five different functions that the app provides. We've got a metronome, we've got a recording function, a tuner, a looping function, and a set list function. Let's begin by checking out the metronome function. The metronome has a very simple interface. You start it playing by simply touching inside the dot. We can adjust the tempo using the plus minus keys. You can also tap the tempo. Now we can customize the metronome as well. So in addition to setting it up to just click on the quarter notes, we can also do subdivisions. So we could, for example, have it click on 16th notes. We also could have it do triplets. We can also customize the way the app looks. We have five different color choices, so we could change over to the purple scheme, the green, back to the blue. We can set it up to accent on beat one or not accent if you just want to have a straight metronome. We can also set the time signature that we want to work in. Right now we're at 4-4, four, four, but we can go anywhere from 2-4 all the way up to 12-8. Again, with all those subdivisions. The second function that Practice Plus provides is a very simple recorder. So if you want to record yourself while you're practicing a part just to make sure what you're doing or for confidence, or if you want to make a quick recording of a rehearsal, you can do that right from here within the app, and you can use the onboard microphone to capture that audio. We also have a built-in tuner in this app. Click on the uh, tuning fork in the center, and it will, here it will recognize the incoming pitch and tell you whether you're in tune or not, or you can set it to produce tones. Now the nice thing about both of those functions is that we still have the metronome available to us. So even if you're making a recording, you can still be running the metronome. For working on scales or for practicing licks, the looping function is very nice. What this allows you to do is set a certain number of bars, and after the metronome has gone through that number of bars, it will increase or decrease the tempo for you. So let me show you how this works. We'll set this up so every two bars, the tempo will increase by five beats per minute. When we start the metronome playing, we get a count off, here's our second bar, and our tempo jumps up by five. We go through another two bars, and increases by another five beats per minute. Now this is excellent if you're trying to work up techniques for playing scales, for playing solos, for working on different licks. It really allows you to do things in a hands-free fashion. Start the metronome playing, and it'll increase, and you can try and keep up and work on your technique at the same time. Finally, we have the set list function. The set list will memorize the settings for the metronome, so you can press those and automatically jump into those settings. If you press and hold, you can slide those around. If you swipe left, you can delete a given setting. Now this allows you to either have settings preset for what you're working on during your rehearsals or when you're practicing parts at home, or you can take it on stage and have all the settings there for your songs as you're playing them through each set. If you're looking for an app that combines several different functions all into one place, it makes it very easy to practice, take out for rehearsal, or even take on stage, Practice Plus is a great solution. And if you're looking for a stand for your iPad that you can use on a desk that allows you to slip a keyboard or a controller underneath, the iClip stand is awesome. For taking an iPad on stage, the iClip Expand is a great choice. 
I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.